This February weather is crazy. Good morning. I'm doing a bit of uh, exploring this morning. I'm very local. I only live over a quarter of a mile that way. And I'm heading up this trackway from Hackbridge, the regenerated Hackbridge, and going up to uh, towards Beddington Nature Reserve. Now people walk the dogs and go biking on this path, but I've never ever explored it in all the years I've lived in this area. So I thought, let's go and see what's here. So come and join me. Bridge in Victoria for Horsham. You can hear ducks over there. Very, very quiet. But we're deep in suburbia. Just eight point eight and a half miles that way is Charing Cross and the centre of London. So it's Beddington Park over there, which was what we went through on my Walk in the Wandle Trail part one. So yeah, you can't, ah, here we are, here's a nature reserve, yeah, which is not really a nature reserve, I'll say. So we've got a couple of options, you see, if you can probably go down that way and head up to Bedden Park, but we're going to go that way and head down to Mitcham Common, where the Mitcham Junction tram and train line is, station, and see what's down there. This is weird, it's quite weird because I live locally and I've never been here. So it feels like I'd be miles away. It's all familiarity about these things. You go somewhere once and you go, ah, oh, yeah, okay. But if you've never been there, it's, uh, it's exploring, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Got a trivia for you. Uh, Tracy Ullman, uh, whose show launched The Simpsons in America, in 1989, or was featured in her variety show, she was born, uh, or raised at least, in Hackbridge. Who remembers two of a kind? Was it three of a kind? Three of a kind, her, Lenny Henry and the other guy. Come and dig old. Look guys, things are starting to bloom. Crazy. I mean, we're almost into March and it's t shirt weather. I think 17 degrees today Celsius. Crazy. February is usually the gloomiest month weather wise, but absolutely glorious. It's like spring. Hopefully, it's a good sign of things to come. But yeah, absolutely lovely. <laughs> There will be Croydon Road and Beddington Lane, where there's lots of industrial estates. And, uh, oh, there's a just come up to a closed gate. That's going to be interesting. Can we get through? Okay, woodland management activities. This pathway will remain open throughout the process, but please be aware of safety signage. Well, it's not open, or is it? Everything a little bit shorter. What's around here? Well, here's a path we can go down. So it's coming up. I'm trying to work out my bearings here. the River Wandle, passing underneath the track lines. And the 
cloud in sight. So, we're going that way. What's interesting is there's a lot more rubbish and trash scattered about as there would be if you're out in the countryside. So, it's a burned out car over there. Um, so, can't be helped, you know, we're in suburbia. Nice and Helia Hospital right over in the corner. So we're going to go uh, that way. Here we go. I think we're going to... Uh, there's a stile. I think this is part of the golf course. Yeah, it looks it. We'll go over the bridge and then head back down towards the goat. Might walk along a little bit. Let's soon get to Mitcham, Jun uh, Mitcham Common up there as well which yes where we when we if you think back where we couldn't get through the gate where we should have been had been allowed access that path also turns off from up there so that will be that one so i might walk up there a little bit uh, and see what's there okay let's go Out exploring Surrey in the southeast and maybe some places abroad. Okay, we go to the bridge. Now then, if I'm not mistaken, okay, the railway is here. Mitcham Junction, tram and train stop is over there. Right, that will go down towards the goat, I think. That goes down to Mitcham Common. We're gonna go down to Mitcham Common. Some gorgeous trees here. I'm afraid I'm not a tree expert. My friend Richard is. I can probably identify a horse chestnut or a, a pine or a London, whatever, but no, I need to look up on that. If I'm not mistaken, now we're on Mitcham Common, which is common land. It was all, like most places in England, was stripped of foliage and trees back in the Neolithic period. And it was common land because it wasn't great um, land for growing anything because of the grazing of cows and sheep and livestock. In the 19th century, a trust came aboard to look after it a little more, contain it and now it's an ecology centre here I've never ever really walked once I've never really walked along Mitcham Common it's weird I say before stuff on your doorstep yeah there's the coming up to the Mitcham Junction tram stop that's the tram just going across there yeah so there we have it we're coming up to the tram stop and the main road, <laughs> uh, Carshorton Road, no London Road, sorry, London Road, it goes up to Mitcham, Carshorton that way, and Hackbridge where I started. So now we're going to go back along the River Wandle, uh, back home, for a cup of tea. There's some walks you can do, only like a mile, about three, four walks you can do around Mitcham Common, which I'm going to do. See the Great Lake across there. You can until we're coming up to the road because it's very loud. So, yeah, lovely. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little trip. And that's not being terribly interesting. But it's, it's all about just exploring what's on your doorstep. Okay, till next time. Be seeing you.